back to Sarah's Joyful Journey. Today is day eight. Matt's over there making his coffee and it is eight o'clock. I was not able to get gas last night. I was not able to get gas this morning. However, I have 130, I think, miles on my car. Round trip to work should be 84, 86. Should be okay. Going to be cutting it really, really close. There is a 7-Eleven right near work, which I am going to try and see if by any chance they have any gas. Probably not because it's still right off the floor. But I, the weather looks decent, so in theory, I should try and make it um, because they're not expecting us to get the worst of it till tomorrow night. And I'll be home tomorrow. I'm going to attempt to do this. <laughs> so we'll see. My day is completely different than what I would have arranged it. I set my alarm for 7 a.m. thinking I wasn't going to work. I set it for 7 p.m. and woke up at 7.30 a.m. I normally leave at 8.30 p.m., so I've got 20 minutes, but I am showered, dressed, up, and I packed my lunch. My workout, however, is not getting done till 10.30 tonight. I don't like to exercise that late, and it's not what I would have planned for, but like I said, tomorrow I don't have to get up. Um, so my workouts will be kind of close tomorrow. It's fine. Um, and as long as we maintain power, I'll still be able to go up to the gym to um, complete my wa my workouts. Either that, it's going to be me throwing on some music on my phone and dancing it out for 45 minutes on Thursday. <laughs> Which, if that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. I'm getting my workouts in this week. I did get on the scale and I am down three pounds in one week. So I am over the moon thrilled about that. But let's get this show on the road. Let's get out the door to work. I will check in when I have my lunch. Thank God for meal prep because all I had to do was literally grab it out of the containers that I put it in, grab a fork and stick it in my bag and I have lunch. No breakfast, but that's okay. That's okay, we'll roll with it. I didn't, I ate one meal yesterday. I can do it again today. Um, it is what it is. I can't change it, like I said. If I had gotten up at seven, I would have had a little bit more time, but it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, well, off I go. I'll check in soon. All right, I've gone to two gas stations trying to get gas. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more gas, but this is the more I try to get gas, the more I feel like I should not be going to work today. So I still haven't officially decided. I'm running out of time though. So I did stop and get coffee because stress and coffee sounds like a good combination. So I did get that. So I have a large cold brew with sugar-free pumpkin, sugar-free caramel and cream. Breakfast of champions right here. So let's go see if I can find some gas and I'll let you know if I end up going to work or not. I have no idea what's gonna happen right now. All right, I'm at Walmart. I think I'm getting gas. I'm just waiting for the car in front of me to finish up. Hopefully there'll be enough for me to get some gas too. If that's the case, I'm going to fly my way to work and hope that traffic is not too bad and that I'm not late. I have an hour and a half or so until I actually have to go to work. So I should have enough time to get there on the toll roads, but getting gas will make me feel a little bit better. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can do this. Well, it is almost 10 o'clock. I made it to work. I'd normally be walking into the building at this minute because it did take me an hour to get gas, but I left a little early. I was successful. I got gas. I'm here today. I'm going to keep an eye on the weather. If I feel like I'm unsafe at any point getting home, I'm going to um, peace out and head home. I think Friday could potentially be a challenge. It will just depend on how bad the storm is in our area and if I have power, if not, what the roads look like. So it was more important to me today to be able to make it today when the weather was at least decent. I am glad that I was able to get gas and I have enough to get me through today and Friday and probably Saturday without needing to get any gas. Um, so we're just going to take this one step at a time and I'm going to go and get my long work day done and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to go up to the gym and exercise even though I don't want to. I might need a pep talk. 
So hopefully I can make myself do that. All right, I will check in when I have lunch and um, when I get home and I just finish my super long day. We'll chat again in a few. It is my first 15 minute break, so I'm going to read and enjoy a Celsius. 5 p.m. update. Um, I was able to leave work early today. My county is under a voluntary, keyword voluntary, evacuation order. So they did allow me to go home to go home and get things ready. We are no, not evacuating. We're not evacuating. Um, and But that does not mean that we're not safe. Um, will it be pleasant? Probably not. Uh, Milton is expected to hit us as a cat too. So we are on our way to get some snackies for our non-keto daughter and maybe see if we can find some self-stable snackies that are keto friendly for Matt and I. And then we're gonna batten down the hatches and get everything locked down and cleaned up, which we don't really have anything to clean up outside. Everything's inside. Um, everything outside has been secured, which we don't own anything. So we will be safe during this storm. That does not mean that it will be pleasant. <laughs> But I will still be keeping up with my 75 soft challenge. So you will still see an update on what happens during this storm because I will still be recording information for you. It might come out a little later than expected, but I'm going to continue vlogging it all and let you know how that affects my stress levels, everything like that. I can tell you that my stress levels are up right now already. Um, I haven't really eaten anything today. I've had coffee and a Celsius, which you have seen. And I'm running purely on adrenaline and caffeine right now. So we're gonna run out, we're gonna run our errands. I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna head up to the gym and do my workout, which should help me relax and calm down and all that kind of stuff. All right, well, let's go run some errands. Well, welcome back. We had a successful trip to Target and I am surprised I ended up getting a lot of hurricane snacks. Was not expecting that. But I did get the essentials. They had books on sale, buy two, get one free. So had to buy new books, even though I already have a hundred books that I could read in there, but I still had to get new books, right? So I got, I hate stickers on my books. They, I, and they never placed the stickers well. Let me see if I can get this sticker off real quick. They always have to put it like right in the middle of the title and it's just, no fun at all. This is not coming off very well. Oh well, I have to work on it more later. So I got, the first book I got is Priest. It's the first book in a series of three by si Sierra Simone. I've heard this is very, very spicy. So that's right up my alley. So I got that one. And then I got two in a new genre that I've never read, but they seem to be pretty popular. They are called Cozy Fantasies. So the first one I got is Can't Spell Treason Without Tea, because of course, hello, tea is in that, and I'm sure it's going to talk something about tea. And that's all I saw, and that sold it for me. That's book one. Book two, Pirates and Tea. And Pirates of the Caribbean is like my favorite ride. I enjoy the movies, they're, although I wouldn't say they're my favorite. Um, and I've enjoyed some pirate romance, which this is not pirate romance, so still got that. So hurricane books acquired. And then they had mini Quest peanut butter cups, which I don't normally buy stuff like this, but you never know if I want something sweet and quick, shelf stable, those will work. I got some of my favorite Tillamook Zero Sugar Sausages. These are also great for reading in the dark, if necessary. They have dill pickle cashews. I got a couple bags of pork rinds because I'm almost out of the ones that I can pop, which I'll probably do those first until we lose power. And then I have other pork rinds. And then I've always wanted to try these and I use the Hurricane as a perfect excuse to buy them. I bought some of these Quest protein chips. So we'll see if they're any good. I mean, there's four servings in here and there's only five total cards. So not an awful snack. So I'm gonna get these put away and then I am going to go ahead and make something to eat. 
and then I have got to get up to the gym to get my walk in and it's already 6 30 so it's definitely going to be way later than I normally anticipate but it's still going to be earlier than I expected because I had a feeling I was going to be up there at 11 p.m. so I'm glad that it will not be 11 p.m. when I get my walk done but it's time to get this show on the road so let's get going. So here is my dinner. I have a Reuben wrap and I'm gonna go ahead and try these new chips because well, this is pretty much the only thing I'm eating today. So it sounds good to me. And I will eat again in the morning. And then I do have my final bottle of water. Although I will probably have one more behind this just because I'm working out. I will check in with you as I head up to the gym. All right, it is almost eight o'clock. I'm up here at the gym. Thankfully, nobody is up here. I'm gonna walk on that treadmill behind me for 45 minutes and get this workout done. So let's go. Change of plans. They have shut off all the equipment. I understand this, but now I have got to go rearrange my living room and kick my husband out of the living room so I can do some sort of walk. I am not happy about that, but you gotta roll with it sometimes. All right, so I just finished my 45 minute workout dancing around my living room. And I think down dancing around my living room, I walked a little over two miles. So that was good. Um, Here's to showing you that sometimes days don't go as you plan and you have to make new plans as you're going along. But as you can see, I managed to be successful on my day, day eight of the 75 soft challenge. Would I have liked to have eaten breakfast this morning? Absolutely. Did I need gas more? Also, absolutely. Did I come home and have the opportunity to eat right when I got home? Yes, but we did have some errands to run. So we ran those, I came home, made the best meal I possibly could, headed up to the gym for a workout and that didn't work out. So I moved my coffee table and danced around my living room, moving my body for 45 minutes. Doesn't have to be complicated, just do it. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>